Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern well-equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co-curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Me, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School. The sky is our limit. Hello, my dear learners. You are welcome to this session. My name is Apio Helen, taking you through mathematics. Lesson one. Our topic today is fractions. And before we begin, let's define fractions. A fraction is a part of a whole. We say a fraction is a part of a whole. We said a fraction is a part of a whole. And when we are writing a fraction, we write a number on top, a number at the bottom, separated by a bar. I said when we are writing a fraction, we write a number on top, a number at the bottom, separated by a bar. For example, I write one on top, two below, separated by a bar, as you can see it here. A number on top, a number at the bottom. Now, children, we should know what these top numbers are. We shall say the top number is called a numerator. This top number is the numerator. Can we all say numerator? Good. So the top number is called a numerator. Then the bottom number, we call it a denominator. We say a denominator. Let's all say denominator. Good. So we shall say the top number is the numerator. The bottom number is the denominator. Learners, we can still continue and get more examples. We can take like, not necessarily that one is supposed to be the numerator and two is supposed to be the denominator. We can take the number three on top, five at the bottom, then we separate it by the bar. So we shall say this three still is our numerator. Then five is going to be the denominator. All together, children. Now, learners, can you spell this word, numerator? Let's all spell. We begin. We spell the word numerator. N-U-M-E-R-A-T-O. R, numerator. Let's spell the word denominator. D-E-N-O-M-I-N-A-T-O-R. So, children, now we have learned that the top number of a fraction is a numerator, and the bottom number is the denominator. Now, let's see how we can name these fractions. Now, learners, before we name the fractions, let's see how we can get some other fractions by cutting. We said a fraction is a part of a whole. When you look at this orange, this is a fruit. It is one. So this is 
one. We call it a hole. Good. We call it what? A hole. Because it is one. And after we have finished cutting it into parts, then it becomes a fraction. All right, children? So when you look at this, we are going to cut this orange into two equal parts. And we see which one is the numerator and which is the denominator. Now, children, this was my hole, right? Now, I've cut it into two equal parts. This is one part, and this is one part. All of it will be out of two. We get the denominator by counting the number of times a denominator has been divided. Is that clear, children? So when you look at this, if I had children, like I can give this to Mary, and I give this one to John. John will get one part out of two, and Mary will get also one part out of two. They form a fraction which we call a half, which is a in words, we write it as one. In figures, we write it as one out of two. And in words, we write it as a half. Or we can say one half, which is here. This is one part out of two, and this is also one part out of two. Our denominator, we shall count the number of times we have divided this whole. Is that clear, children? Now, let's look at another example. You can be having three children in your house, all right, children? Like there at home, you can be three brothers or sisters. You have only one orange, and you want each of you to test it. What you do, you have to divide it into three equal parts. So let's cut this one so also, and we we'll see how we can get the equal parts. I'm going to cut it into three equal parts. Such that everyone gets a share. Right. Now I've cut this whole into three equal parts. This is one part out of three, and this also one part out of three, and also this one is one part out of three. So if I had my children, it can be Jane, Stella, and Sarah. I can give Sarah one part out of three, and also I give Sa Jane one part out of three, and Stella I give also one part out of three. When I combine them together, again it becomes one whole. Is that clear, children? So it is not necessary that it is only oranges that we cut into equal part, into parts. But we can have so several things. We can have purples, we can have avocados, we can have tomatoes, even shapes. Like here, I have a shape. This is my shape. This is a rectangle. All right, children? I want to cut it into two equal parts. So I will cut it, I will divide it into two equal parts like that. After that, I have to divide it, to cut it. Sorry. All right. Now, children, this was our rectangle, right? We have divided into two equal parts. This is one part out of two, and also this is one part out of two. We said when we, when we want to know the denominator, we count the number of times a whole has been divided. Is that clear to children? Also, we can get another one. Like this one here. This is still a rectangle. I want to divide it into four equal parts. All right, children? Now, what I'll do, I'll divide it into four equal parts like that. So I cut it. Children, we are cutting 
the whole into four equal parts. As you can see, I'm cutting it. Now, this was our whole, but now it has been divided into four equal parts. This one part out of four. This another one part out of four. This another one part out of four. And this also another one part out of four. When we count all this, we make four parts. So we shall make our denominator by counting the number of times I've divided this whole. So it will be one out of four. Children, this is one part out of four. In figures, we shall write it as one out of four. Then in words, we shall write it as a quarter. Or we can say one quarter. Both answers are, are correct. You can say a quarter or you can say one quarter. Is that clear, children? Now, we have another shape. Because I said it is not only fruits that we can cut, we can cut even shapes. So this is a square. I'm still going to divide it into four equal parts. Is that clear, children? So I will cut off. Now, children, this was my square, all right? I've cut off one part. This one part is one out of four. Now, children, which part, what, what fraction is remaining here? Because here there are three parts out of four. We call this one three out of four, or in words we shall say three quarters. We shall say three out of four in figures. Then in words we shall write it as three quarters. Is that clear, children? So this fraction which is remaining here is what we call three quarters. Understood, children? All right. Now, children, I want us to see something. From out of the oranges that we cut here, we cut a half, we cut a third. What do we learn? So to me, I see that when we do fractions, when we cut parts of, when we cut a, a, whole, a, a fraction from a whole, it teaches us how to share. You see, you can't, like now we are in COVID, COVID time, if something is not enough at home, you, and you have many children, you have to cut it into equal parts so that everyone gets the same share. So fractions teach us how to share. All right, children. Now I have here a chart that is going to relate to what we have been cutting. Here we are naming fractions because I told you we have to name, we have to know the fractions that we are cutting. So when we see, we see something like we saw here, this was an orange, it is a hole. So that is what is here. This is one, it is an orange. So when we're writing in figures, we, we say one. And when we write it in words, we say one hole or a hole. Is that clear, children? Then we also divided the other shape, which I a rectangle. We divided, we divided into two equal parts. Each one of it is one out of two. We made one out of two, and in words we shall say a half. I forgot to write here one whole, but you can also write there at home. So we can say one out of two in figures. Then in words we say a half. Is that clear, children? Then also you remember I divided an orange into three equal parts, okay? So each part here which I remove is one out of three. In figures we say, in words, sorry, in words we say a third or one third. Is that clear, children? Now when we come to this one, this was a square. I cut it in four equal
Now, each part, like this shaded part, we call it one out of four in figures, a quarter or figures. Sorry, in words. All right. Now, this one it was the one I cut equal parts also. It was a rectangle. Then the shaded part here, in figures four, words we Now, learners, by the time we end this lesson, you must have known what a fraction is, what a denominator is, and what a numerator is. Now, when you are dividing, always you should know that you are learning how to share. Now, children, before I end, I have here an activity which I want you to do at home when you are sitting there in your when you are in your sitting room with your parents or with your brothers and sisters, I have here a simple activity. You can do it practi practically. You get your objects you cut, then you get for me these answers. My activity says, write the shaded fractions, all right? You get your objects, you cut them as it is here, then you name them. But children, remember to sanitize as I'm doing here. Sanitize. Keep social distance, stay home, stay safe. Thank you very much, children. As you continue doing that work, I remain teacher Helen. Bye-bye.